In today's video, I'm going to show you one of the most important features for strength in greenhouses, high tunnels, and hoop houses. And make sure you stick around for the entire video because I'm going to show you how anyone can add this element to their structure, even if your greenhouse or high tunnel has already been built. Before I get to that, the first thing that any greenhouse or high tunnel or small building should have that makes it stronger, large diameter steel tubing. That, that's something that's primary, but, but if you're self-fabricating a structure, you're likely going to use a smaller diameter. Something made out of one 3 inch fence top rail, for example. Let's go on the inside of the structure and I'll show you what anyone can add, even you if you're self-fabricating your structure. So this right here, this is a truss. Some people call it a, you know, a cross brace, we call it a truss. Uh, it's a rafter essentially. And then we call these smaller pieces truss supports. There's a large span from the edge here over the top of the bow to the edge over here. These truss supports break that span up. So from the peak to the, the where the truss attaches, that's a large distance. This here is intended to distribute some of that weight down to the truss. Once that weight hits the truss, it kind of goes out to the, the edges here, and that's closer to the straight sidewall, and it distributes this down into the earth. So essentially, this horizontal member can help defend against weight. It can help defend against snow. This comes standard with a lot of our structures at Tunnel Vision Hoops. But there's no reason you couldn't try to make one on your own. You know, you could put end cups on the end of a steel tube and then use brace bands, which are these units here. These are brace bands and that'll make a strong structure, you know, a stronger structure than you already have. In order to show how you could make one of these truss rafters for an existing structure that lacks them, I set up a bow section on our shop table and replicated the basic steps you'd have to take with the required materials. You would need a piece of one and three eight inch tubing cut to the length you want your truss to be. You would then put end cups on the end of the one and three eight inch tubing and attach those end cups to the tube using tech screws. Once the end cups have been attached to your main truss piece, you would then be able to connect the end cups to your bow using brace bands. The brace bands would have to match the diameter of your bow and they could connect with bolts and nuts. I really love the end cups we carry because they're pressed steel. Uh, they're really a lot stronger than the aluminum ones, which I've seen at some of the big box hardware stores. So if you do want some pressed steel end cups, I'll have links to where you can find them in the description below, or you can follow the QR codes. So if we come back down here, and you can put these on, you know, before you put the bows up, as long as you take tension off the bottom of the bows. The reason we didn't put the, these trusses on before we put the bows up is because I wanted to show that you could make these for your structure and put them on, even if your bows have been up for a couple years. You can make your structure stronger at any time. And essentially, the way we'll attach these, we'll get a, a brace band up here. You put one side on, you attach it roughly where you want it, and then you'll be able to come to the other side and lift it up into place. Once you get the horizontal member in, it's as easy as bending up the small supports. But many of you, if you're doing this on your own structure, if you're doing this on a small structure, just doing one piece that's horizontal, as far as effort to benefit, is going to go a long way to make your structure a little bit stronger. So we're gonna get these up and uh, we'll show you what the finished product looks like in a few minutes. Uh, we wrapped up this 14 and a half foot structure. I just want to show you what the truss rafters would look like after it's completely installed. This is what the truss rafters would look like. Sorry for the audio, it's pouring out here. The primary purpose is just to keep the structure a little stronger. And like I said, any structure, whether you've self-fabricated, you bent your own hoops, or you buy a you know pre-fabricated structure like our DIY kits at Tunnel Vision Hoops, all of them can have these truss rafters installed. So that's what truss rafters look like on a small structure after it's been completed. And I'm gonna get out of this rain. Thanks for watching.